Hello, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining us. We'll start off with uh, James Cole from uh, Sky Sports News, and we'll have Stefan Schemmelt from the BBC. And then uh, after that, please use the chat facility to uh, identify yourself and uh, any questions you may have. So, uh, James, are you okay to lead us off, mate? Yeah, hi, Owen. Hi, James. Just, just wondering what the, the biggest points, learning points you take from that game, the conditions, how to play the conditions moving forward in this series. I suppose the difference in the wicket that we played and how we adapted um, to start, I suppose it was a completely different wicket that we played on. And it only been two strips over from the one that we played on in the first game. It was probably a wicket that we would have predicted coming in to the series that played the majority of the games on quite slow, low, didn't really turn a great deal. Um, but a, a one that does expose probably our weakness here, that we don't play a lot on slow, low wickets. And the more that we can do that, the better. And I think when you talk about posting a total on a wicket like that, I thought we were right in the game. We did a lot of the structure of our innings really well. We, we, we established partnerships. We got to the point of where we tried to accelerate, but managed to lose wickets at, at different stages. And I think you have to give India some credit there. I thought they bowled particularly well, having adapted and recognised what worked well on the wicket. Um, and then defending that total, I thought India, like taking early wickets, brilliant. Um, but India was, managed to get away from us quite quickly. I thought Tevington, Isha and Kishan played pretty well and managed to take the game away from us and everything then that we tried didn't seem to work. In the first two T20s, we've seen the team batting second win comfortably. Do you think there's too much advantage on the toss in the way the pitch is playing? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think, like, the advantage was, again, it, it always is with the guys batting second, but there was definitely more due in the first game than there was tonight. So there wasn't a complete dis like disparity between innings. Thank you. Cheers, John. Stefan Schemmel, please. Owen, not the result you wanted, but does this result sort of give an example of why you thought this series was so important, learning where you have to improve before the World Cup? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, to play on, to, to, to become better in these conditions, the only way we do that is by playing and, and making mistakes. And you, you tend to learn quicker if, you, if you're winning and confident and everything runs reasonably smoothly. You can integrate learning quite quickly. But equally, if we have to learn the hard way, it's, we're still going through that process of, of trying to learn game on game. So when it comes to the World Cup in seven months' time, we can be as best prepared or, or know more about ourselves and where we need to get better before then. How far below par do you think England were this evening? Uh, with the batter, I, I actually don't think that far. Um, I think, again, India played really well. Um, I think on, on top of that, they came out all guns blazing and, and managed to get away from us in that period where we didn't manage to do that. So that put our bowlers under a little bit more pressure. And then I think when we tried to go back to either basics or taking the pace off the ball, we didn't execute well. Can you just give us a little bit of an update on Mark Wood? He missed out with a bruised heel. How worrying is it that he couldn't play two games in quick succession? And is he going to be fit for the rest of the series? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a big worry. Uh, he felt better again today, but not fit enough to play. Hopefully he'll be available for the game in, in two days' time, if not the fourth match. And you've talked about that marginal advantage to chasing. Going forward in this series, do you want to replicate batting first so you are more experienced with that come seven months' time? I actually think in the next game, because we're playing on a different type of soil, playing the red soil or the black soil, there's a chance that it might take more steam. 
probably lends itself to bad inference if it doesn't hold as well together as the black soil, which traditionally it doesn't. So we'll have to wait and see, you know, in two days' time and see how much exposure to the sun, how much grass is on the wicket, um, because it actually might lend itself to posting a total and um, as the wicket might get worse. So does that mean uh, a chance for Moe and Ali? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if the wicket, like the, the two wickets that we played on have not turned and we, we looked at them and didn't expect them to turn, but potentially the next game might offer, offer a little bit for the spinners. Thanks, Owen. Thank you. Matt Roller, please. Uh, hi Owen, uh, you came in at number five with Ben at number six, which was the, the other way around from the series in South Africa. Can you just explain the decision and the thinking that went into that? Yeah, of course. Um, the decision behind it uh, was primarily based about trying to get me into the game while the seamers were on and not necessarily the spinners. It actually didn't work out that well. They continued to bowl spin and one over a seam. Um, again, my record against seam coming into that stage of the innings is is better um, than against spin so that was a call that we made and and more generally with Ben do you feel like you're still sort of trying to nail down exactly what the ideal role for him is or do you feel as though you know that no I think in the middle order again we, we saw South Africa well, well Ben played it's, I, I don't think it's an easy role I've done it my whole career it, it treats you like crap the majority of the time you need guys that, that really play the situation of the game and aren't that bothered about taking risk when the team needs it. So Ben is a guy who has that attitude and definitely has the skill to do it. Thanks. Rob Johnston, please. Hi, Owen. I just, just wondered if we could talk about the, the, the bowling you, you said there maybe didn't execute quite as well as you, you wanted. Uh, just explain a little bit more about what, what you thought they could have done better. I probably thought we could have been a bit, a little bit more accurate in, in the lines and the lengths that we bowled. Um, I think the other night, the, the pitch really suited us and had more pace in it. It's actually similarish to a wicket at home, probably a Cardiff wicket, somewhere like that. That was a little bit uneven and you know went through nice and maybe stood up a little bit. Um, but this took 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 us out of our comfort zone today, <clears throat> and really was a, a, a typical Indian wicket. Um, that we would play on in, in an IPL game. So, again, your accuracy has to be on and you're playing, you're bowling to guys really on their home patch when you talk about a wicket like this. So, uh, the ball was up against it. And, and just just um, a couple of catches went down, um, Jossie's one and, and Ben. I guess if they'd have been taken, potentially a, a different story. Yeah, it's always the case. Um, if you have a half chance and a, and, a, and a genuine drop, I mean, they normally do cost you. Um, but I do, I do think that we were below par with our, with the, our standards. And sorry, just on the lights, is uh, Ben Ben did Ben say anything about the lights? Has that been an issue with the catching? I don't think it was an issue with the catch. The issue, there, there is a challenge here with the lights of the way they are positioned around the ground it's very similar to the Dubai Stadium where they're at mid-range level but I haven't spoken to them about the catch great thank you thank you three more now please Dean Wilson Shashwat and Sabaya Dean please yeah uh, hi Owen um, I just wanted to ask about you you've talked how about playing on sluggish surfaces and, and how you want to improve um, and, and maybe do even better than, than you are at the moment. What, what does that look like from a, a batting point of view? You've got 164 tonight. Maybe, you know, if you get better at it, you might have got 180, 190. How do you actually go about getting those bigger scores on sluggish pitches? Do, do you have to go harder? What, what's, the, what's the theory? No, I think um, particularly when it comes to batting, um, you know, the biggest sixes guys here are normally when it looks like they put no effort into it. So maintaining your shape when you're trying to hit the ball, attacking um, probably a bowler that you know you have an advantage um, with or you play that type of bowler really well. Um, so things like that, trying to improve 
positions that we get into and when we do get into a position, take advantage of. I saw, I mean, we saw, for example, Jason Roy trying to take down the reverse sweep. You know, that was a, a very clear and obvious option. If he gets hold of a couple of them rather than missing them, I mean, is that the kind of getting better at things like that? Um, not necessarily reverse sweep. It's, it's probably like identifying. So most players should know their game inside out, where they struggle, where they're strong. And it's, it's when they're strong against whoever, it's taking that option and not hesitating and doing it. And if you get out doing it, you're, you're taking the right option. It's if you're taking an option against the type of bowler that you're weak, weaker against than, than others. Okay, great, thanks. No worries. Shashwat, please. Uh, good evening, Oil. Uh, so, uh, during the final few overs of your batting innings, the wicket seemed to slow up and India also bowled a lot of slower delivery. And now that you are expecting similar pitches to be around in the rest of the series, what do you think you should probably do differently when faced with a similar circumstance? I think I'm a little, a little bit, a little bit better. Um, I think again, India bowled really, really well today. They were deceptive in slow balls that they use, and they managed to, you know, when you commit to bowling something into the wicket, and it, it gets a lot of purchase off it as a seamer. I think it's a good indication that guys are bowling well. And when you've lower order batters or well um, accomplished batters swinging and missing, it's a good indication that uh, guys are bowling well. But I think you find normally when you play in a series that the more you play against somebody, the better you get naturally just through more exposure. And so hopefully that's the case. Okay, so you also talked about how Ishan Kishan came in at the top and took the game away from you. So, were you a little surprised that he was he displayed such an aggressive manner right at the start of his international career or was it something you were prepared for? No, it's not surprising. I've, I've played against him and seen him play a lot and then that's the way he plays. Um, so, we, we were very aware of, of the, the threat that he poses. Okay, so uh, another thing of just the final question you also talked about in the pre-match press conferences and before the first T20, how you were looking to give most of your players experience on this tour. So does that mean people like Sam Billings, Liam Livingston get a chance in the next few games? I didn't say that at all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Last of all, Sabayan Chakraborty, please. Hi, Oyan. Uh, good evening. Uh, for, uh, although Shashwat asked you, asked you about Ishan Kishan, uh, what, being an experienced player yourself, how tough is it to play a, such a fearless innings uh, in T20 debut? How impressed were you uh, watching him go about his business? I think he's clearly played well on the debut, but it's, it's not surprising that, you know, given the amount of IPL exposure that he's had and the success that he's had in the IPL, and um, that has clearly bridged the gap between playing domestic cricket and playing international cricket. And he's not the first player to come in and do it in an Indian shirt. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, Take care. Thank Good you. Night. Thank you. Cheers.